I'd like to title the following, The Dirge of Churchianity, or perhaps it'd be better said, Religion's Mask. Religion wrapped up with a bow, sanitized, alphabetized, in order, all up in a row. No questions asked, your belly full, your pockets overflow. Sieg Heil told your party's line, you'll be religion's hoe. Grab your pitchforks, torches too, cause we're marching up the hill. The doctor's in with body parts and he still attempts to build. But in frenzy and with bloodthirst, no mercy will extend. And no matter what the truth is, we fight blindly to the end. Just justify your actions and say God told me to, for this will ease your conscience and make your lie sound true. While the things that really matter are lying unattended, like mercy, grace, or humility, your knee remains unbending. Your form of godliness has no power and God can see, but just hold another seminar and make the topic me. Stroke my pride, fix my marriage, and my children too. Three easy steps, become a partner, and then it's free for you. But send your money in today or we're going off the air. But my book is free, my teeth are straight, I got morning talk show hair. But forget the sick, forget the hurting, because their sin is their own fault. Let's just make sure we got our steeples and stained glass windows bought. And you don't really want to touch them for fear of their disease. But we do like our pews padded and we do enjoy our ease because we know that God's main concern is to make us all feel good. And we'll write a book about it when he don't act like he should. And I'm sure when we stand before him, he'll pat our heads and say, because you were so religious, you made me smile today. Well, I think you know by now, this is not how it will be. For powerless religion is not your destiny. And now you stand here gazing, wondering what next I will say. Looking at hypocrisy, I bid you all good day.